long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. <laughs> just, wow. Joe Biden just basically said that real black people do what they're told and don't ask questions. And the host just sat there and took it. No pushback at all. This is another excellent example of the double standards that Republicans are held to by the Democrat media. If Trump had said this, it would be the lead story all day. But instead, at least so far, it's just people on Twitter as far as I can tell. If the DNC media does cover this, it'll be muted and there will be no charges of racism. Despite the fact Joe Biden has a long history of making idiotic racial statements. It's a large, mo very identifiable Somali community. Great relationship with them because there's an awful lot who are driving cabs uh, and, uh, and are friends of mine, for real. I'm not, I'm not being solicited. Is Indian Americans moving from India. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. So for, I'm not joking. This notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. P wealthy kids, black kids. Asian kids. No, I really mean it. I'm prepared to say that I have a record of over 40 years and that I'm going to beat Joe Biden. You know, something I notice watching these clips is every single time he makes one of these idiotic racial statements, he always follows it up with, no, 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 I'm serious, or I'm not joking. We'll get right back into this episode, but first, let me quickly tell you about this free special offer for my subscribers. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Many Americans use this little known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866 915 5053 and get your free investment guide today. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Of course, the narrative is that Democrats are black saviors and definitely not trying to keep them on a virtual plantation of government dependence and unending racial paranoia. Another thing I wanted to comment on here is when the host says that he's interested in policies that will benefit his people. First, imagine that it was a white guy saying something like that. A white person that only wants policies that'll benefit his people. I want small government policies that will stay out of our lives as much as possible. But if we have to have big government policies, I want them to help everybody regardless of skin color. Second, you would think that at this point, people would be re-evaluating their lockstep dedication to the Democrat party. How long have black people been voting for Democrats? What has changed? They apparently still live horrible, tough lives that nobody else could possibly understand. Where's the evidence that big government has actually helped black people? And to that point, I really don't understand the black monolithic vote for the Democrat party. It's Democrats that treat black people like they're unable to help themselves. It's Democrats that put on phony black accents to pander to African Americans. Republicans simply don't do that sort of thing. How could somebody watch Biden or Clinton put on these phony accents and then swear off voting Democrat based on the cringe factor alone? I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far. Who do they think they're fooling? Do black people really respond to that? One would think that doing this would be tantamount to verbal blackface. Biden wasn't done making absurd claims though. He also claimed that he actually called for shutting down the country one week before Trump did so. Even if that was true, what a stupid thing to brag about. As if he's so great because he called for actions that were likely already set into motion when he said it. Things that matter are, for example, right now there's a study out of Columbia University and the disease control center up there. They pointed out that if he had listened to me and others and acted just one week earlier to deal with this virus, there'd be 36,000 fewer people dead, dead. Mm. Dead. Okay, first thing I want to point out, the expert, Dr. Fauci, said that to try and go back and claim that we could have saved lives by acting earlier is just not fair because there's too many factors at play to account for. That's, this is all because we got started 
too late in the U.S. Is that right? Do you agree? You know, it isn't as simple as that, uh, Jake. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, to just say this is all happening because we got started too late. Where we are right now is the result of a number of factors. The size of the country, the heterogeneity of the country. It's, I think it's a little bit unfair to compare us to South Korea, but I don't think you could say that we are where we are right now because of one factor. So I did a pretty extensive search looking for any mention of Joe Biden calling for closing down the country, but all I found was him criticizing Trump for his China travel ban, calling it racist and xenophobic. I also noticed that Joe Biden lies again in that article, claiming that the China travel ban abandoned American citizens who were infected and needed treatment. That's not true. It actually allowed American American citizens back into the country. It's something that they criticize him on now. The reality is, while Trump was giving his speech about shutting down the country on March 11th, Biden was still holding campaign rallies. I wonder if the mainstream media will do any fact checking of Joe Biden. Has anyone ever seen the network or cable news media fact check a Democrat at all? If they have done it, it's exceedingly rare. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.